hey guys welcome to top java interview question series so i'm covering java multi threading so i have explained about the uh, threads and different ways the thread life cycle i have explained my last couple of video so i have explained the threads using eclipse where we have created a thread using renewable interface and using the thread class so i have created the test class also where i have explained different ways we have we can create the thread using anonymous function and lambda expression also so if you have not seen those video go through that also i will provide the link for those video in the description of this video so in this video i am going to explain the java question related to threads about the life cycle and different ways in, in which we can create thread so so the first question is which way of creating thread is better renewable or thread class okay so depends upon the requirement generally we extend thread class when we require some method from the thread class because the thread class contains many operation related to multi threading okay so implementing renewable interface do not have much control on threads because it contains single run method okay so in other ways if we extend thread class we cannot extend any other class because java does not support multiple inheritance so the conclusion is uh, we generally use a thread class when we want to have more control on the thread so thread class have different methods we, that those method we can use for the any thread that we can create so renewable interface we generally use when uh, we just want to create a thread and then complete a task we don't want to perform some other operation on the thread so so the second question is explain thread life cycle so that we i have explained in my last video so to repeat again the thread life cycle we have these states new renewable wait time out waiting block and terminated state okay so how we can start a thread we can use start method to start a thread so the other question is different between wait and sleep method so sleep method is just used to pause the thread just for some seconds okay so if you want to uh, pause the thread for let's say one hours so we can use sleep method but wait method when we use wait method a thread goes to waiting state and is does not come back automatically okay so until we call notify and notify also whenever we want to wait particular thread we can use wait method so to wake wake up the particular thread we have to use notify uh, method okay so how threads communicate with each other so thread can communicate using wait notified and notify all so the last question is different between notify and notify all so we can use wait method to thread it goes to waiting state and using notify we can wake up single thread but if we want to wake up all the threads who are in waiting state we can use notify all method so let's say you have created 50 threads and uh, you don't know which thread is in waiting state and uh, so you want to stop all the threads so you can you can use just notify all all the threads which are in the waiting state those will be stopped so the notify method is just used to notify uh, one thread okay so these are the some of the questions some basic questions uh, about the threads it's not very advanced level questions so in my next video i will cover other java interview questions see you in next video bye bye